Welcome to another episode of the Neon to Diamond series, a series where I give tons of neon tips and tricks. Last episode we ended up in gold free, so today we're gonna try to get that platinum rank. In this episode I made some nice plays and some bad plays where you guys can learn from, especially the last game. Now sit back, relax and let's learn some neon. Hello everyone. I would recommend to not slide through your wall blindly without a stun, but luckily we got a kill. The neon slide is just too much fun. <laughs> Oh, okay, good one. Yeah, chamber, help me, maybe. Oh my god. In this round, our breach was sadly AFK, so it was a 1v1. My teammate called that KO was on C side, and because Neon is so extremely fast, I decided not to plant on C, but rotate all the way back to A. Sometimes when you know where an enemy is, it's better to not engage. Here I spotted KO on garage, but I knew I would be faster on A than him. That's the reason why I rushed to A immediately. Because in a 1v1, when you plant the spike, you will have the advantage. You set the pressure to the enemy. He will have a limited amount of time to win the round. Got him, got him. If you are in a 1v2 and you know that both enemies are separate, I would recommend to engage of one of the two. In this round I rushed on KO because otherwise they might have pushed me at the same time. One enemy remaining. Let's double door. Ah, my bad. But sadly I messed up anyway. Also I would recommend to not plant when you're not sure if it's clear. First clear the site, then plant. Rule number one, my friend. And again, play smart. We knew both enemies were on A, so why not go to C, right? We won the round easy peasy. Also, check your corners before the enemy shoots on you. Luckily, Jet missed over here. Watch out. Whoa, he was there. Ah, got him. Also, always try to go for the refrax. Revenge your teammates, my friends. Sadly, after that, because I killed KO over here, my teammate got a little bit angry. Bro, I tell us, I tell you, don't kill KO. Yeah, and honestly, he refused to play in the second half. He did things like blocking me with the sage wall and ghosting the whole team's positions. Not very friendly of you, my friend. Sadly, when you have teammates like that, you can't do much. The only thing you can do is mute them and do your best. Heads up. Team! In the end, we got to overtime and lost the game, sadly. Let's see, we did not get the MVP and we got minus 13 RR. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. So in the first round, we rushed B. Oh, okay, I got him. Here, the perfect example of why you should never use your right click with the classic. It's not very good, my friend. Oh, no. Minus uh, 60 sky. And in the first gun round, we rushed B again. In my opinion, Fracture is a heavily attacker-sided map. On the defender side, the only thing you can do is either flank all the way around the map or go through the middle. And on the attacking side, you can use this knowledge to easily get some free kills. Just wait for the rotations and easy kills for you. You should run. One enemy you remaining. Blink. Team. Where's he? It's over. Nice. Whoa. If you are using your zoom zoom, try to keep moving, unless the enemy is far away. When the enemy is far away, it's hard to hit them. That's the reason why I stood still in these two kills. A zoom zoom kill. And yeah, what can I say? We just walked a little bit over the enemies in this game. Oh, I stunned them. Okay. Okay, I uh, wrong button, <laughs> but we got him, no problem. Sometimes you just have those games that are pretty unbalanced. Attack remaining. helicopter! Ah, uh, that's worth it, we got an attack helicopter. And in the end, we won the game, easy peasy. Zoom, zoom! <laughs> zoom, zoom kills, let's go. And we got... 33 RR, let's go to the next one. Hello everyone. Because we lost the first two rounds in this game, there was a very high chance that the enemies would be on a bonus round in the third round. And if the enemies are on a bonus round, there's a high chance that they will push. This is the reason why I look to market so much. I knew you were pushing by them. I knew it. A few rounds later, the power of communication. Always try to communicate with your teammates and tell them what you're about to do. Okay, Mr. Lola, I'm gonna flush round for you and you're gonna slide. Hi, let's go. Because he gave me this info, I got confident enough to push KO and kill him. The power of teamwork, my friends. Guys, flash, good job, good job. 
One enemy remaining. No! Oh, that's Minus. right. Sadly, we got an AFK since the second round and we lost the game. Hello, FD1. So we won the first round and in the second round I just used the Aeris. This gun is extremely overpowered in the current patch. Oh, 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 oh. Just be careful if you use this gun on long range. Tip, use your scope. Don't be like me. Never mind, Aeris long range, bad. With Neon, throwing your stun is instant. So don't be careful throwing your stun even though you know the enemy is close. Okay, we got one in the eco, that's good. The start of this game didn't went really well for me. Sometimes when you have a bad game, it's nice to switch up your gameplay. So in the eighth round, I decided to push and luckily it worked out. Kill. You Sometimes you gotta push from Watch behind. <laughs> that was rusty, but we got him. That, that's what counts. When pushing C, I tried to throw one stun behind the middle box on the side and the second stun to the back of side. But yeah, they are not really needed if the enemy just walks into my crosshair. Watch out. Nice one. Enemy down. Oh, okay. Now nah, we got the round. Good that's way. good, that's good. Sadly, that was not good because in the end we lost the game. Let's see, we did not get the MVP and we got minus 13. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. So in the first round we decided to rush A. When you kill someone, be careful with rushing and reloading at the same time. Wait till your gun is reloaded and then push. If the enemy sage peaked a little bit earlier, I would be dead here. Smart you feel? Be careful with pushing the new boxes on bind when it's smoked. When it's smoked, probably all the crosshairs of the enemies will be on the boxes. When Astra killed Sage, I hear them reloading. That's the reason why I peeked. I got spike. Spike down A. Him. Don't you peek me. Spike Double peeking is not smart. Yeah, listen to Mr. Lowlander. Don't re-peek just like Astra did. However, I don't listen to my own tips and tricks. This was a stupid re-peek. Oh no. Another tip about the zoom zoom ult, I always say keep moving, make yourself a hard target. But this does not mean that you have to walk all the way to the defender spawn. Oopsie. Guys, let's go, let's go fast. Come then. Fast. Zoom 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 zoom, here we go. Oh, I'm too, I'm too greedy, wow. Out. Do you guys also sometimes have those moments that you just miss every shot? Like what? <laughs> no, I oh, tried so hard. One enemy oh, remaining. I have also no idea what here happened. Go, go, go. The slide kill. <laughs> A big tip for Neon, when you use your ultimate, it's very easy to play way too aggressive. This is already the second time that I catch myself pushing too hard when using the ult. So keep this in mind when you are playing Neon. Why did I peek? Uh, mine's I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So in the first round of the second half, I spotted someone in middle. Even though I only spotted one enemy, I decided to run all the way back to B. This was because I was all by myself in hookah and staying alive is very important. Instead of dying in hookah, I managed to get one more kill. Then I sadly died, but we still won the round. <laughs> easy, easy, I got it. I'm out of here. He's there, he's there, he's there. Sad life. But in the end, we won the game. Easy peasy. Hey, good game, good game. Let's see, we did got the MVP, finally. And we got... We promoted! Hey, Platinum 1. Do we get the double promote? We get the double promote. <laughs> Insane, Platinum 2. At this rate, we will be there in no time. And this is the end of the episode. I hope you learned something. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace.